फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट देयर आफ्टर ओन जनवरी सिक्सटीन टू थाउजेंड सिक्स द इंडियन कंपनी इशूड पेमेंट इंस्ट्रक्शंस टू एच एस बी सी बैंक दुबई फॉर एन अमाउंट ऑफ रुपीज सिक्सटीन क्रोड्स टू बी डेपोजिटेड इन द अकाउंट ऑफ द डिफेंडेंट नंबर वन इन आंध्रा बैंक चेन्नई अकॉर्डिंग टू द प्लेटिवस कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन वॉज टू वार्ड्स इक्विटी शेयर कैपिटल हेल्ड बाय डिफेंडेंट नंबर थ्री एंड फोर शेयर सर्टिफिकेट्स वर ऑल्सो इशूड एंड रिकॉर्डिड एज हैविंग बेनिफिशियल इंटरेस्ट बाय द ई टी ए ग्रुप लेटर ऑन मार्च सिक्स टू थाउजेंड सिक्स द इंडियन कंपनी रिसीव्ड फर्दर इन्वेस्टमेंट थ्रू फोर डिमांड ड्राफ्ट अमाउंटिंग टू रुपीज थ्री लैक्स फ्रॉम डिफेंडेंट नंबर ट्वेल्व विच वॉज रिकॉर्डिड एज बेनिफिशियल इंटरेस्ट ऑफ द डिफेंडेंट नंबर टू डिफेंडेंट नंबर इलेवन इज इन पोजेशन ऑफ दीज शेयर्स एज वेल इट हैज बीन फर्दर स्टेटेड दैट between december 2005 and march 2006 a total sum of rupees 16 crores had been received by the indian company from defendant numbers 12 and 2 towards issue allotment of shares on june 25 2009 defendant number 3 issued a personal check of rupees 2 crores which was honored on july 7 2009 in the accounts of defendant number 2 and reflected that the investment was made in the indian company on june 28 2009 a further investment was made in the indian company by defendant number 12 to the tune of rupees 2 crores through payment instructions to emirates bank to debit the same which was actually credited on july 1 2009 in 2011 two investments were made on december 26 2011 to the tune of rupees 18 crores by payment instructions to bank of baroda debiting the account of defendant number 12 and crediting the account of the indian company thereafter share certificates in the names of the defendant numbers 3 and 4 were issued by the defendant number 1 around february 10 2012 the plaintiffs also stated that defendants numbers 3 to 7 admitted and acknowledged that defendant number 2 had a beneficial interest in the share certificates of the indian company issued in their names defendant numbers 3 to 7 however do not have physical possession of these 2 lakh 70000 shares the same being held by defendant number 11 it was also contended in the plaint the defendant bank had share transfer forms of the company accordingly it was urged that defendant number 2 has a beneficial interest over the shares of the defendant number 1 but held in the names of defendant numbers 3 to 7 it was further urged in the plaint that deconsolidation of the accounts and businesses of defendant number 2 with that of defendant number 11 was effected in 2016 with retrospective effect from 2014 the same was on account of defendant numbers 3 4 and 7 to sign the financial statements of defendant number 2 it was also asked that till the time the indian company had requirements for funds 
द इंटरेस्ट ऑफ डिफेंडेंट नंबर टू वॉज एक्नोलेज एंड इट वॉज स्टॉप सब्सिक्वेंटली इट वॉज फर्दर अर्ज दैट द एंटायर रेमिटेंस टूवर्ड्स द सूट शेयर्स ऑफ सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्सटीन परसेंट ऑफ द इंडियन कंपनी वर बाय द फंड्स प्रोवाइडेड बाय डिफेंडेंट नंबर ट्वेल्व और डिफेंडेंट नंबर टू एंड नो पार्ट ऑफ द फंड्स केम फ्रॉम द पर्सनल अकाउंट्स ऑफ डिफेंडेंट नंबर्स थ्री टू सेवन it was further urged by the plaintiffs that defendant numbers 8 to 10 had direct knowledge of these facts it is pertinent to mention here that there is no dispute regarding the fact that the decision of the board of directors of the group general body followed by defendant number 11 through the draft financial statement would impact the beneficial interest of defendant number 2 in the shares held by in the names of defendant numbers 3 to 7 which was the subject matter of the suit plaintiff number 2 under these circumstances wrote the letter dated june 1 2017 to defendant number 8 the managing director of the indian company protesting that the investments made by defendant number 2 were denied defendant number 1 through its letter dated june 7 2017 refused to take notice of the claim asserted by the eta group plaintiff number 2 thereafter sent another letter dated june 12 2017 to the indian company addressed to the managing director of the indian company giving details in support of the claim of the eta group he also called for a meeting in person however defendant numbers 8 and 9 along with other directors of the indian company failed to attend the meeting proposed by plaintiff number 2 however they sent a letter dated june 27 2017 stating that they had earlier replied on june 7 2017 itself and had nothing further to state plaintiff number 2 sent another letter dated july 9 2017 reiterating his original stand the indian company responded through the letter stop